This is for the ones who are being brought up in an aberrant environment. You got to give them a little warning. Do not throw objects from the bridge. Throwing objects can actually kill people. Of course, there are engineers, there are um, people who are actually using that uh, river down below. Could be hit by the throwing objects at gravity as it falls. Gain speed will knock anyone down to their fat fatal status. In fact, anyone who's been brought up in an aberrant behavior would have to be instructed as to how to behave on a public bridge. And it is a shame that we have to notify the public of um, of these sort of simplistic, very common sense of stuff, uh, like pointing out not to throw any objects over across the bridge. Hence, they've actually erected this sort of uh, a fence to actually avoid that as well. As you can see, the curvature um, sort of a barrier that is erected along the stretch of the pedestrian walkway beside that uh, bridge is a reasoning behind why and they are still to this time and date they still have to notify because there would be still an opportunity to throw a small stone through those little gaps of that mesh of this mesh here in fact it is fascinating to know that, that we have to notify our uh, ignorant and very unintelligent human behavior and remind them of not to do things and yet they will do just simply that anyway that aside let me talk to you about the bridge as you can see this Glen Canyon bridge here is one of the most uh, advanced bridge constructions as you can see the material used are are simply a uh, light um, yet iron structure is used in a way to support the carrying and the bearing the weight of that bridge as well as the carrying capacity of any given time of any maximum load on that bridge compared that to the Navajo bridge on the stretch towards um, the north rim of Grand Canyon you will see that bridge was built some hundred years ago back then the engineering and the science and technology available and the methodologies available was such that they could only come up with the formula of finding materials to suit um, with the knowledge and the advances they had to build that bridge which is so bulky and that's a cable strained bridge and this is an arch form including the Navajo bridge as well so you can see the man's advances have managed to reduce the amount of material being used and strengthen the bridge's payload that it can carry or bearing payload of that carrying weight of the construction material that is being used on that bridge which gives an advantage on the carrying capacity um, of that bridge any one time.